Hello. I thought I would give some uh, post commentary over the new <laughs> world record for vanilla single cycle score running, where the goal is you have a single cycle, you can set it up as much as you want, however you want, and the goal is to get as many points as possible within that one cycle. 13 and a half minutes. You are allowed to use a remix setting to maximize the cycle duration up to, well, 13 and a half minutes. Or is it 13 minutes? I don't know. But I, Anyway, so so I'm going to be going over this run that I did, which apparently stopped recording the audio at some point. I have no idea why, but it it is what it is. Apparently, so I'm um, thankfully uh, Ice. If if you're what if slash when you're watching this, I mean, uh, thank you for <laughs> uh, accepting this. I I have no idea. I'm I'm gonna have to maybe restart my computer or try to figure out what caused this, but. Anyway, so for anyone else who's watching this and may wants to know what, more what's going on, so I'm starting out the run in a triple spawn chimney canopy. So instead of a set list of spawns for like all the vultures, as you can see that I'm summoning, it's going to be the same list but three times over. And there, I could go on and on about uh, all the setup, but I will say thank you to Axelet for setting up this save file. <laughs> I was not expecting to break the world record in in a few hours with uh with this save file, but I am grateful nonetheless. Very grateful for that. So I'm gonna start out the run by cheesing all the vultures as you can see. So if you have enough karma, you can activate the echo that's nearby. It's one room over to the right and one room upward. And then there's a couple screen transitions to actually get there. So in this room in particular Vultures will be pacified by the Echo's radius, but Vulture Grubs will not. So you can summon Vultures over and over to this room, and they're gonna be they're gonna be alive but asleep. So you you do still need to kill them, and the way I kill most of them is by dealing damage to them within five seconds of having them fall into the void. <laughs> this, yeah, I, I don't know what causes this collision between Vultures that like forcefully slides them off the edge, but I was getting <laughs> nervous about it. Because it, it means I do lose points. I need to actually deal damage in order to, uh, <laughs> I threw the grub, in order, in order to get the kill credit. And rocks do 0 0.01 <laughs> damage, which is enough. That's all you need. So over here, I'm going to be, I slid, and for some reason, when you slide into a vulture body, that's, uh, like, at the right angle or something, it it causes you to just keep sliding indefinitely until you either like let go of the inputs or reach reach the edge of a uh, reach the edge of the platform that you're on or something like body blocks the vulture. So I did use it back there. Uh, I might I might use it again. At, I don't know. I don't think so. So I also need to uh, not forget <laughs> as you, as you can as you're gonna see here in a moment. I'm going to be killing one of these king vultures with, and, and also this vulture, I can't actually push it off of the edge, so I'm just going to be killing it with spears. I'm going to be using these two explosive spears that were prepared, thank you again, excellent, to uh, kill the king vulture and get its vulture mask. Except it falls off. <laughs> I, I probably should have, I definitely should have ex expected that, but uh, it's no worry. There's another king vulture over to the right, which I luckily... <laughs> was able was able to get and also if if the vulture body is like halfway in the ground as you can see there you can slide into it and then jump right as you're inside the body and it'll push it out of the ground basically and then this is the vulture that I have to actually get a mask from so the vulture mask the king vulture mask will scare lizards for 30 seconds after they see you I grab this bat fly that's just chilling here. <laughs> it also got pacified by the echo and it was just it was just waiting. And now that I have a mask, I can get on with the rest of the run, which is by far more interesting. So I'm gonna be spending most of my time in lower chimney. And oh and also another thing with the save file is that you have maximum scavenger reputation, so it'll lead the scavengers over to you. Uh right right as you're in an area that's actually accessible to them. Oh yeah, and <laughs> if you were paying attention at the beginning, 
I was not happy with these uh, pole plants that managed to kill me last attempt. <laughs> I just keep sniping all these kills right as they go, right as they uh, come out of the pipe, and now I go in. I know there's always a few creatures in here, so I always try to make my way like over to the right. I missed the noodle fly kill, but I'll I'll get it later. I'm kind of nervous about like spamming grab and throw in that room over to the left because there was a bomb, well two bombs and an explosive spear. Here I do a couple backflips and then hold up after the <laughs> and I accidentally drop my mask. If it so if you uh if you're in the middle of a backflip, you can press up in midair to throw it upward. And you can also do it downward as well. I think I angered the noodlefly mother at some point during this just by spamming grab and throw and I accidentally got one of the babies. But it's fine. I just gotta, oh, man, I missed again. It's fine, and I missed again. I just have to wait for it to stay still. There we go. Like that. And I can get another spear for my back once I'm in the room over to the left. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, or uh, we're, we're wondering, I am a bit sick. I have a bit of a sore throat. I don't want an explosive spear because it, it's a one-time use so I throw it out for a normal spear oh hey a drop wig oh hey another drop wig and I miss but it's fine there's so many spears in this room I just realized it would have been nice if there were a lot more creatures in here but it's fine I'll just keep going down and I this spider almost killed me. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was kind of scary. And also just like, I was like, why, dude? <laughs> Please. And then I can, I, I saw this uh, white lizard over here to the left, so I'm just going to camp right by the, right by the den, so I can get it right when, once it comes out. At least I got the spider, unlike the previous one. And there's scavengers. I'm gonna wait for them to hopefully like blow themselves up, which they do. You can't actually hear it because you know <laughs> there's no audio. But but they did blow themselves up with an explosive sphere and like the grenades that they all had, or at least some of them had. And now I'm into lower chimney. Now this is where you can get a lot of creature kills. Especially when it's triple spawned like this. Oh, and also uh, somebody walked in my room and asked me a question, so I did pause here for a moment. I forgot about that. <sighs> anyway, back to the run. <laughs> I missed the scavenger. Now here, I'm going to carefully try to get the scav and I managed to get it without cuz cuz I'm pretty sure they're angry with me but at this point so I want to get the <laughs> want to get the scab before I get the lizard and like free it and I miss this and I miss again <laughs> that was really <laughs> that would have been really cool if I managed to get like either one of those and then I missed both so it's just embarrassing oh well I waited a moment for the, to try to get this noodle fly kill, but I it it just didn't want to go in the tunnel, so I couldn't. At least I got these guys though. I'm hoping this noodle fly mother on the left gets angry at me, but it doesn't seem like it does. <laughs> I love how when there's double spawns or triple spawns all the pole plants line up exactly on top of each other and you just <laughs> you just keep killing one and there, there's just another like hiding exactly where it was like where its brethren were I don't stay for too long in here I don't want to go for the spiders because 
It's kind of inefficient, kind of dangerous with all the spitters. And also, they can revive each other, which I don't really want to deal with. So I just decided to head into... Oh, hey, I got the Noodle Flight Kill from before. So I do just decide to head into Industrial at this point. But not before getting a couple more pinks. First this guy, and then this guy. There we go. And I'm, I am going to pause here again because I'm not sure if there's going to be scabs on the other side of this pipe. Which there aren't. That did manage to get me. They did manage to get me at one point during, during one of my attempts. It is not fun. <laughs> Especially if they just like instantly react to you. And uh, just hit you right before you come out of the pipe. I, and I wondered uh, what was in my stomach, if anything. Because I haven't actually seen what, what's in there. But uh, thank you, Axla, for the bomb. I don't think I use it this run, but... <laughs> that, that probably could come come in handy. Had I known... <laughs> had, I, had I known that it was actually there for, like, most of this r score running attempts. I do try to get a little bit more damage on this white lizard, and uh, I don't know if you were able to tell, but... There was actually an explosive explosive spear that got it. Oh boy, this is dangerous. Especially this scab. <laughs> I I am so glad that I managed to parry that at the last moment. And that I didn't hit this guy's grenade. <laughs> that was almost like the end of the run. So I, I do try to get this bomb over here just so I can try throwing it, but I don't think I get anything. Nah, I don't. And then I do try to set up three spears and try to go for this vulture before it flies off. And then I try to lead it over here so I can bait out an attack. And it just doesn't want to show up. I, just, I was just practicing my crawl turn vaults while I was waiting. It didn't show up. <laughs> so I just decided to head further into industrial. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I lost this, uh, <laughs> I lost this spear, which is annoying. For a moment, I was like uh, trying to sort of get onto this geometry here, and maybe consider like going over to the left and getting the egg bug, uh, the spear inside of the egg bug. But I don't, I don't go for it. So I, I just decide, screw it. I'm gonna go back. I also tried throwing my uh, spear inside of that uh, tunnel that I, that I went uh, in the bottom left of this room. I was thinking it wouldn't. Surely it wouldn't embed, right? I I can just drop it here, grab two more, and then be good. No, it just it just embedded, but it's fine. I was gonna go for two more spears anyway. I don't know how this pink managed to pass through my body and the body of a, uh, the other pink lizard, but <laughs> I guess it worked out. And I believe right about here, yeah, the rain starts to kick in, which. <laughs> I was not expecting it to come this early. I, I felt like I had way more time going in, going into industrial, but it's fine. Try to slide past this body, and I try to go for just a few more kills. I don't go for any of these guys though because they're retreating, and also I didn't want to wait for the blue lizards beneath to uh, to uh, come up to the platform that I'm standing on. I also don't go for this blue lizard here because, well, the rain is coming. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, die right before. And I only have one spear at this point, so I'm, I'm thinking, like, I'll just go for this drop egg here. And then just go, because I'm probably not going to find anything else. Spears or creatures. And, of course, I don't find any spears or creatures. And that's the end of the run. So, the uh, problem with score galore is that it also takes into account other... Uh, sources of points like the amount of food you eat, the amount of time you spent. It actually subtracts one point for every minute you spend. And I I don't remember what other stuff, but this count here in the bottom left is wrong. So I do manually recount it afterward, and it comes out to 605 points, beating the world record of 586 points by uh, Timby. This record that record stood for like years 
or maybe at least at least a year. God, I cannot believe that it stood for that long and and that I was able to break it. So I'm very proud of this run. I hope you all enjoy. Take care. Bye.